Go. <laughs> um, we're not going to do the um, how the heart uh, feeds itself, the blood. So the heart has coronary arteries, which are the ones that supply the oxygenated blood to the heart, and they are divided into left and right coronary arteries. Uh, these arteries originate from the aortic sinus, which is over here, it says number 31. Um, that's because it comes from the uh, left ventricle, and that's where all the oxygenated blood, blood then also goes from the rest of the body. So the, right beneath the aortic arch, that's where the zone for the aortic sinus. So the left coronary arteries ha is divided into two sections. The first one is the paraconal interventricular branch, which goes right in between the two ventricles, and that's what's called interventricular. And the other branch of the left coronary artery is a circumflex branch, which is this top one here. And so that these feed the left side of the heart. Now the right side of the heart only has one branch, and it's called the substantial interventricular branch. And it's um, it goes down here from the aortic sinus in this direction, and it goes all the way back to the atrial surface, which is the back of the heart, and you can see it here. That's where I think it's technically called the substantial interventricular branch. It was right coronary artery before, right? Yeah, this is part of the. That's part of the. Because they call it that's the right coronary artery. Okay. Yeah. Because you said subsinuoso before. But anyway. Sorry, yeah, subsinuoso, and then here at this point becomes um, right coronary. No, right coronary, then becomes subsinuoso. And then um, the blood has to be taken back into the atrium, um, the right atrium, to be, to be, um, to be cleaned. So <laughs> that happens through the, uh, uh, through the great cardiac vein. So it technically... It's here in the, uh, what you've seen along all the other branches that we mentioned before in terms of the coronary arteries are the veins. And when it goes along um, to the atrial surface at the bottom, it becomes the middle cardiac vein. And they all meet the coronary sinus, which is where all the vein all meet and the blood pools is at number 27. That's the coronary sinus. And this is the uh, caudal vena cava, so it makes sense that it goes where all the other the oxygenated blood pools and it goes directly into the right atrium which is number one and you can see it in there this would be where the caudal vena cava goes and the no small one is where the um, the coronary sinus the, the blood from the coronary sinus goes